Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to how to make one of these. This is an XLR male to TRS male adapter. Of course, the process on both ends with connecting the connectors to the cable is the same no matter what length the cable is in between it. So if you need a regular cable from XLR to TRS 20 feet long, the process connecting the ends are exactly the same, just use longer cable. No brainer. Okay, so ultimately I'm going to show you guys how to complete this. I've went ahead and stripped out about six inches of Megami cable. Uh, twin core shielded standard Mogami microphone cable and I went ahead and stripped back the insulation off the outside I twisted up all of the copper wires into its own conductor soldered that together so nothing would fray off inside the connector as it gets used went ahead and stripped about an eighth of an inch off the tips of the red and the white and soldered or tend the ground which was the shield tend the red and the white conductor as well I did that the same for both sides you'll see the length on this one's a bit different the ground on this one's pretty short it's about a quarter of an inch and that's because I'm gonna need to have it about that length when I connect it to the TRS side side that connects to the XLR I've left them all the same length and you'll see why you want to be sure you don't actually strip back more insulation than you need to uh, because you want to be able to have the XLR be able to apply the cable strengthener to the shielding and insulation on the outside properly so it gives good strength so it doesn't pull away from the soldering points on the inside of the connector Okay, so just went ahead and did some prep work there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this XLR connector apart. The inside that I'm going to need. You want to pay attention to the connector and the way that it sits up in the vise. The middle pin should be at the top when you're soldering this. That way the cups line up properly to fill with solder. And the top middle connector is always pin number three. Now if you're looking at the male connector, which this is, and say you're soldering it from the back, pin number two is always going to be on the right hand side of you. Pin number one on the left, pin number three straight up. There's also numbers to make sure that that's right. So red to the right on the male, which would be pin number two. So pin number one on the left, which is ground. Pin number two on the right, which is hot. Pin number three at the top, which would be your cold. And the vise. This is the way I place it in there. So again, when I'm looking at the back of this, pin number two, red, pin number three is white, which is cold, and on the left-hand side of the male, pin number one, which is the ground, or the shield. Take the TRS apart as well. Make sure that plastic piece stays inside the body of the TRS. And here's your TRS. So I'm just going to do a little prep work here. I'm going to pull this little plastic piece up and I'm just going to bend that back a little bit to get it out of the way so I can go ahead and tend the bottom of the connector sorry for the quality, it's quick time alright so what I'm going to do first is take this cable that I prepared here I'm going to go ahead and solder the connections to the XLR male connector. First, if I wanted to, 
I could go ahead and put the body of the connector on, but since I haven't soldered the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and go straight to it. So again, red to the right, pin number two. The white, which is cold, pin number three, straight up, and the ground to the left-hand side. So first, I want to go ahead and tin the connector. So I'm just applying solder to the connection points so I can not have to use a device to assist me with holding the cable, holding the soldering iron, and also holding the solder, trying to solder everything at one time. So if I go ahead and place solder on the connector to where the points go that are going to be soldered, tend those, tend the cable, I have solder on both sides. I only need one hand to solder, one hand to hold the cable. Red to the right. Pin number three straight up, which is the cold, the white. And the ground shield to the left. I'm going to turn this around for a second and solder this last one. So what we have now is the connected cable to the XLR male connector. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide the cable down through the body here. I'm going to make sure that my screw holes here line up properly. guy. Tighten up the cable strengthener. And the XLR male side is done. Now we just got to go ahead and connect the conductors from the cable to the connections on the TRS. So first what I want to do is go ahead and slide the body of the TRS onto the cable common mistake that a lot of people do, I even did it today once, is forget to put the body of the connector on the cable before you solder the connector to the end. Solder the connector to the end of the cable without that on, you just gotta unsolder it and put it on. Just a little bit of a waste of time, it happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the TRS into the connector stand here, the vise. So, it looks like this. The shorter connection on the TRS goes to the tip. The longer connection on the left hand side, if you're looking at the back of the connector, goes to the ring. And the sleeve is the entire part of the connector on the bottom. So with tinning TRS, I'm going to apply solder underneath that plastic piece, just about directly between where the smaller part which goes to the tip and the longer part which goes to the ring you want to apply the solder right to the bottom in between that area so when you connect the ground or the shield from the cable you have a place to solder that in there properly let's go ahead and tin this guy I'm 
going to go ahead and tend the connection for the tip as well. Put them here. I'm just going to fold back the red and the white conductor and hold that back a bit. That way I just have the actual ground or shield the copper part showing. I'm going to hold that guy in here. And I want to place the actual cable insulation just past the part that's going to actually add strength there. So it's going to lay in there just like this. So once that's soldered on, I'm going to go ahead and fold the plastic piece of the TRS down to cover that up so it does not short out on the other connections. Kind of fold that in just a little bit and go ahead and take my needle nose and secure the cable into the connector. So, so far. I'm going to connect the red conductor to the smaller part of the connector to the tip. Red to the right, looking at it from the back, the white one to the left. I'm going to go ahead and ten the other part of the TRS here so I can connect the white to the ring. You can pretty much solder these connections, the red to the tip and the white to the ring, just about anywhere on those connections as long as it makes sense for you and it's easy to get to and it works. I'm going to use the needle nose to hold this connection in place. I always put the white one to the ring on the inside and solder it to the inside. That's just my preference. Gives me a little more room to work. So there's the soldered connection points, the white to the inside, the red to the outside, and the shield ground goes underneath in between the plastic piece and soldered to the sleeve. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw the body of the TRS up onto the connector. Sometimes you may need to fold these back in just a little bit. There's your cable. TRS, male to male XLR. I'm going to go ahead and test this to make sure that everything works. I'm going to test pin number two of the XLR to the tip. Test pin number three of the XLR to the ring and pin number one of the XLR to the sleeve and then make sure that nothing's shorting by cross-checking those. So, 
pin number one of the XLR to the sleeve. Good. And nothing shorting out on the other two pins. Pin number two of the XLR to the tip and nothing shorting out on the ring or the sleeve. And pin number three goes to the ring and nothing shorting out on pin number one or pin number two. And that's how you connect a male XLR to a male TRS and how to check it properly to make sure that it works. All right, until next time. Thanks.